Hello. Hi. Hi, good ah, evening. Can you guys hear me? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. <risa> no, no los oía porque no había puesto mi micrófono. <risa> Hi. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Hi, Eli. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. <risa> Eli, Se me nice cambió el nombre. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Se me cambió el nombre y no hay como ponerme el otro. That's okay, Elita. That's okay. Hi, Elmer. Good evening, my dear teacher. How are How you? How are you? Fine. I'm fine. Fine, fine. Excellent. Fine, thank you. All right. Oh, Daniel. Oh, my goodness. Hi. All right, very good. So welcome guys, Jose, Nancy, Nancy, Eli, Eli. <laughs> yeah, Rocio and Elmer, Walter and Daniel. Very good. So we're here. So we have today's class, two more classes and we are finished. Okay. So let's keep on working here. Yesterday we were talking about past perfect for Elmer and Eli and Daniel that were not able to be in class yesterday, we were talking about past perfect. Remember that past perfect, we make it by using subject plus had for all the subjects. All right, from I, for you, for he, for she, for everybody. Plus the past participle of any verb, okay? Now you have to know the past participles of the verbs for you to know how to use the past perfect. We're also saying the past perfect is the past within the past. That means that an action already happened before something else, okay? So that's pretty much what we do or how we use the past perfect. Now, Jose, how can we make a past perfect negative sentence? Can you tell us, Jose? Uh, let, let me see. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how? No, teacher, I don't remember. Okay, that's okay. Walter, hi, Walter. Do you remember how to make a um, past perfect negative sentence? Or oh, Rocio, you guys were here yesterday and De uh, Jennifer, were yes. you in class? Yesterday? Uh huh, Rocio. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. In negative form, uh -huh. uh, past perfect. That's right. First, the subject. Of course, yes. Then the verb had. Okay. Uh, and then. Uh -huh. That's the, the auxiliary, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. the, the auxiliary uh, not. Okay. And then the, the verb in past participle. All right, past okay. Past, past participle. participle, yes. Okay, past so you say, I had not yes. eaten, or I had not driven, or I had not traveled. All right, so that's how you make a negative. And pretty much, guys, and this is the other point on the platform, which is four point something, four point ten, I think it is. Uh, we were supposed to, we were supposed to study past perfect questions, but it's not like a very big deal. It's just the same how we make all the tenses, uh, the questions. We have to write the auxiliary first. So in this case, we're have. All right, and then the subject, and then the past participle of the verb. Had you studied English before? All right, or had you taken this class before? All right, so we use that, and we also we can also use um, the questions in um, with the WH question words like what, where, when, how, so on and so forth. So right now I'm gonna share this with you. It's uh, not here. Where did it go? Here. Okay. So what I want us to do right now is we're going to go and we're going to work on this. I'm just going to show it to you right now so you can like understand a little bit, especially for the ones that were not here yesterday. Here we have grammar worksheet past perfect. Okay. So if you notice on the first square, we have um, the affirmative sentences 
On the second square, we have negative sentences. If you notice, we can say had not or hadn't, which is the same. And this is what Rocio was explaining. Subject plus had plus not plus the past participle of the verb. But I'm telling you right now, the question forms. So what you have to do is you have, you have to write had before the subject and then the rest of the uh, sentence, all right? So had plus subject plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence. In case you wanna make a WH question, you just add the WH question before had and then the rest is the same. Now, how do you answer it? In um, affirmative short answer, you say, yes, I had, or yes, she had, or yes, they had, or you say, no, I had not, or uh, no, it, no, we had not, or no, she had not. So it depends. And this is how you make the answers, okay? So pretty much on this um, worksheet, you can see positive, negative, and question type, all right? Do you have any questions, especially for the ones that were not in class yesterday? No, no questions? Elmer, Eli, Rocio, ya le cambié el nombre, Eli, very good. Uh, Rocio, no questions? No, no, no questions, teacher. All right, okay. Estamos so, bien, teacher. Excellent. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a picture of these right now. Okay, so take a picture of this. I'm gonna send you to your groups. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to work on it and then we're, gonna, we're going to come back and we're going to begin the new topic for section five, okay? So ready? You guys ready? Did you take a picture? Okay. Yes, yeah? Excellent, very good, yes. okay, nice. There you go, so. Um, hi, Noe, que le paso a su compu? No, no, tomé, no, no, perdón, no tomé hasta la 12, teacher. Ay, es, es, son 12. Mercito, el mercito, espérenme. Hasta la 12, lo que pasa es que me cubre esta cosa. Sí, se me cubre, espérenme. Puedes subirlo un poquito, solo para tomar la 12. Of course. Oh, va, ahí, hasta okay, ahí, ya. porque si no va a haber la respuesta. <risa> no importa, teacher. Espérenme. Pues. All right, got it? Good, perfect, okay, so let's go. Let's work on this right now. We're coming back and then we begin the first topic of section five, okay? Okay. There you go, guys. No way. Ayana. Hello, Anna. Anna, can you hear me? Anna? Hi, Anna. Hi, teacher. How are you? Sorry to be late. No, that's okay. Right now, Anna, they are working on a worksheet about past perfect. Okay, and um, I'm going to share it with you right now so you can take a picture. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to send you to... No, uh, this is a new worksheet. This is only about ah. past perfect. Ah, okay. okay. Okay, so hold on. I'm going to move this. Um, okay, so you may take a picture right now and I'm going to send you to a group. Then I'm going to give you some time to work on it and then we're coming back and we're going uh, to begin section five. Okay. 
All right. Ready? Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. So I'll stop sharing and I'm sending you right now to uh, do, 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 do. to group number three, all right? Okay. There you go. He had omni. He's got. He? He's got for a year before he saw him. Hi. Hello. Hello, teacher. What number are you guys working on? 
Ten. Number nine. Okay. All right. Okay. What is the past participle of the verb see? Verb? See. Number three. See. Mm -hmm. So. No. See. See. Right? Sing. Very good. Yeah. See. All right. What Sing. about, yeah. See. What about number seven? The baby fall asleep. What's the past participle? Left. Fall asleep. No. Mm. Slept. Falling. No, it's falling asleep. Come? Falling. 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 Ah, mm -hmm. is the same. Yeah. Step. yeah. Change the first step. Falling. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher, because it's a, it's un compuesto. Yeah. Fall asleep. asleep. Cuando dice asleep, Falling. it's a verb. Si asleep, don't say. No. Falling, falling asleep. Uh -huh. Falling asleep. Okay. Mm. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. Good. Good job. Uh, no. I know. Hi, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Daniel. Teacher. Hi, Daniel. ¿Qué me había pasado, uh, Daniel? Hi, hi. I, I have a, a lot of a lot of work, lot of work. Uh, yeah. because I am I am a developer. I building a, a web application that okay. customer is asking for, and I have a deadline. All right. Uh, that's a problem. Then it consumes maybe all my time, and I, I'm very yeah. tired. And I said, one of one of this day, I said. Uh, I have to, I, I have to take the class. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we're happy you're here. I know I can't let pass on the compu. No I sé, fíjate que como, como es viejita, ¿verdad? Sí. La cosa es que, no sé, se desconchifló. <laughs> y, y yo hablaba con <laughs> Edith, pero no la veía, no, no vi una pantalla. Ajá, sí, yo la veía en negro, su pantalla. Sí, no, no, no sé. Y de pronto ¡pum! se cayó. Y ya no, ya no, ya no pude entrar. O sea, ya no terminó de cargar. Sí. All right. Okay. What number are you guys working on? Yeah. En la number seven. Seven. And the verb fall asleep. Yeah. No es separado. Fall as. O fall a sleep. No, es asleep. Así. Ajá. El verbo es, o sea, cuando es verbo, es el sleep nada más. Pero a sleep es, no es verbo. A I mí, mean, o sea, no en este caso. Ah, entonces el verbo sería okay. fall. That's right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you say falling. 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 The baby had falling. Yes. A sleep. Before eight That's o'clock. Right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. All right, very good. Thanks. 
Teacher no me ayudó con los, el 3.4. No, no me es. sale. Ya se lo voy a enseñar. Sí, pero ay, después. <risa> Tenemos toda la noche. Oh, my goodness. <risa> no quiero dormir. <risa> yeah. Ok. Hi, Albert. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. You finished? Yes, I think. Okay, where's Elmer? Sleeping? Yes, teacher. Ah, come on, Elmer. Por eso le estaba preguntando cuándo es la última clase. Yeah. Anyway, all right. So you finished, right? So um, we're going to wait like one more minute and then we're coming back and we're going to check the answers, okay? Okay, teacher. All right. What day? To practice this type of sentences. I, I don't use. Oh, hello. Finished? Yes. All right. We have finished. We have. We had all this car. I didn't notice that the traffic light had turned red. He had ordered rice, but the waiter served him soup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, very good. Okay, do you have any questions about this? Uh, no. Yeah. No, for sure. You're okay? Yes. Okay, very yes. good. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to come back right now. We're going to check the exercises and explain the topic from section 5, okay? Okay. Okay. Right. okay, so we're back. Um, I hope you were able to finish or close to be finished. So let's check this together. So we have here, we're going to do number one together right now, right here. I have the answers for you, but I want you to tell me the sentences anyway. So let's see, Rocio, for number one, it says, had a gym ever flown before his flight last week? What is the answer, to, uh, Rocio? No. Oh, ah, yes, 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 yes. Yes, he had. Yes, he had. Very good. Jennifer Acosta, and, uh, number 2A, and Jose Rodriguez 2B. Ah. Had your sister eaten breakfast before she left? Uh huh, Jose? No, she hasn't. Hasn't or hadn't? Hadn't, perdón. Okay, yeah, okay. Very good. That's okay. Uh, Noe, can you read three? Number three, please. Noe, Noe. Noe se congeló. Ana, can you do number three, please? Yes. Jane said he had already seen the movie Last year. Excellent. Had seen. Very good. Number four. Uh, then we have Elmer. Can you do number four? I got, I got lost because I have forgotten to bring a map. I had. I got lost because I had. Right. Had I had. I had. Forgotten. Yeah, I had forgotten to take the map to bring a map. Very good. Daniel Mendez, can you do number five? Yeah, sure. They had no studied English before last year. Okay, they hadn't or they had not studied English before last year. Very they good. Hadn't. Yeah. Jose Ramos, can you do number six? No? Okay. She had lived in Leeds before she moved. To London. Yeah, she had lived. Very good. Nice. Ellie Larin, can you do number seven? Yes. 
the baby falling asleep before eight o'clock. The baby had fallen, right? The baby had fallen asleep. Uh -huh, very good. Oh, that what, question. Yeah. yeah. Before eight o'clock. Okay, very good. Walter, can you do number eight? Walter, Walter? No? Hello, teacher. Ah, yes. Walter, thank you. Yes, number eight. I have not thought of that question before. I hadn't thought of that question before, or I had not thought of that question before. Very good. Uh, Noemi, can you do number nine, please? Nine. Nine, yes. Okay. So I got with because she had not bring brown brought brought uh -huh. an umbrella. Very good. All right, very good. Anna, Edith, can you do number ten, please? Ten. Yes. Okay. She had all his car for a year before she sold it. He sold it. Very good. Okay, very nice. Then we have Rocio again for number 11. Okay. I didn't notice that the traffic light, light uh, turned red. Very good. And the last one, Jennifer? The last one? Yeah, number 12. Let me see. He had ordered rice, but the waiter served him soup. Okay, he had ordered rice, but the waiter served him soup, all right? So in case you want to yeah. take a picture of the answer, this is what it should look like, all right? So that's what we have there. So mm -hmm. if you want, you can take a picture just to make sure that you have it correct, all right? Remember the pronunciation is had or hadn't. Make sure you don't go around saying hasn't, because right now we're talking about past perfect, not present perfect. Okay, so it's yeah. had for everyone. Okay. All right, so guys, I'm gonna stop sharing this with you right now. I'm gonna start talking about the new topic of section five, okay? So we have here, it's 5.3. Right now we're gonna go to section five. Remember that this Thursday is going to be our last class. So that means that today and tomorrow we're talking, well, today, tomorrow, yeah, we're talking about section five, which there are two topics, grammar topics that I always go, I work, I always work with you, okay? So today I'm beginning the topic of number uh, 5.3, I believe it is. So we're talking, guys, about this, and I'm going to share I have two, again, I have two PowerPoints for you. And this is one. Just give me a Teacher. Second. Yes. Porque no. se oye como eco. Con, cuando usted habla, se le oye como eco. No sé. Se me oye. Como... Hay, hay unas cosas que no le entiendo mucho. Porque se oye como eco. No Niños, sé si los demás. Los demás no oyen con eco, solo es eh, no es. Se oye con eco. Sí, se oye un poco con eco. Oh, and say sometimes, yes. yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Pero qué raro. Es porque es por cómo pronuncia el inglés, por eso. <laughs> no, niño, no tiene nada que ver. Okay, no sé si eso fue bueno o mal, bebé, pero anyway. <laughs> no, right, se le bueno. bien bonito. Ajá, bueno, me, me detienen si en caso voy en demasiado eco, pero no sé por qué será, porque estoy en el mismo lugar de siempre y con los mismos audífonos. Quizás, no, por los audífonos no se los veo, no, no, no tiene los blancos. No, tengo mis negritos. Ah, Hola. pues quizás por eso. Pero ya tengo todo el curso de estar con los negros. No. Ah, ahí, ahí se oye diferente. De verdad. Se le oye mejor. Ajá. Es que, es que estaban lejos, creo yo. Están lejos. Ustedes están lejos, yo. No. <risa> oh, no, no. El micrófono. El micrófono del... uh, bueno, no sé. Ahorita se oye diferente. ¿Me oye bien ahorita? Se oye, se oye mejor, sí. sí. Vale. Si no me avisan, porque yo no sabía. Si no, él no me dice, yo estaba ahí. Bueno, ok, no, thank you. Ok, so this is the first... Le estaba diciendo, ¿no? Eh, que empezamos la sección 5, 5.3. Ok. 
Son siempre hablando de los puntos gramaticales. This is the number one, 5.3. Noun phrases containing relative clauses. Okay? Remember that when we talk about relative, that means that we're going to use a relative pronoun. That, who, which, and whom or whose or who, whatever we need to like be referring to. Okay? So here we have, guys, we have, me detienen si no me escuchan bien. Noun phrases contain clauses. Y decimos, one thing I would really miss is my mom's cooking, ¿ok? Cuando yo agarro, el, el, en este caso estamos hablando de noun phrases, quiere decir que son mis nouns, quiere decir que van al principio en this case. One thing that I would really miss, hasta ahí llego, is my mom's cooking. Now that's the example, the structure. He says one thing, o puede decir one thing, o puede decir something, plus that, está en brackets, quiere decir que es optional. Sometimes I can use it, or sometimes I can omit it, and it's okay. So, one thing that I would really miss is, in this case, a noun or a noun phrase. I can say, in uh, one thing I would really miss is my mom, que sería un noun, o digo, is my mom's cooking. Noun phrase. ¿Por qué es una noun phrase? Porque es más largo. No solo me quedo en my mom, sino que digo my mom's cooking. All right? Mm. All right. Ok, si solo dijera, puedo dejarlo hasta my noun. Por eso hay una pleca ahí. Puede ser is plus noun or is plus noun phrase. La diferencia entre un noun es que solo es un nombre. My mom. All right? Or a noun phrase, my mom's cooking. Hay un, es como más largo después, ¿ok? Es una frase completa. Es una frase al final, ¿ok? Very good. Two, oh, another example, this, oh, sorry, the other structure is two things, that, acuérdense que el that es optativo, that I would really miss are, porque estoy hablando de two things, I would really miss, quiere decir que yo puedo usar is, because it's singular, or I can use are because it's plural. Right, so ahí les estoy dando do, los dos ejemplos, como singular o como plural. Igual, después del are, viene el noun phrase. All right? So let's look at the examples. A ver, José Rodríguez, can you read example number one, please? One thing. Okay. One thing that I really miss is my cat. Okay. En esa, thank you, José. En esa, the first sentence, the first example that José just read, He says, one thing that I would really miss is my cat. My cat, is it a noun or a noun phrase? Noun. No. Noun. All right, very good. Thank you. Ellie, sentence number two. Sometimes that I okay. really Some miss. Uh -huh. Sometimes that I really miss is spending time with my friends. Okay, so that's a noun phrase because it's everything. All right. And the last one, Daniel. Two things. Two, two things that I really miss are my friends and my cat. Okay. So two things that I really miss are my friends and my cat. Okay? So we're talking about noun phrases. Yes? But because we said it's in another level, all right, tenemos esto para ustedes. One thing or something that... I would, I, I'd be, or I would be is plus adjective plus preposition, ¿ok? Eso es como un poquito más allá de lo que es. siempre relacionado al tema, pero usted ya lo puede manejar. Or decimos two things that I would be, y yo uso adjective, ya no uso noun, no uso noun phrase, uso un adjective plus preposition, Plus R, plus noun or noun phrase. Mira el ejemplo. Ana, can you read example number one? One thing, wait, I, one thing that I'd be nervous about is traveling in Dawn. Very good. Nervous is an adjective, yes? Okay. Yes. It's not a noun. A noun is my cat, my mom. In this case, nervous is not a noun, it's an adjective. La, and after that is a nervous about. About is a preposition. Yes? And then yes. in this case we have a noun phrase, traveling alone. Or we say, 
something that I would be worried about. Worried is not a noun, it's an adjective. About is a preposition. Is the language barrier it would be a noun phrase, all right? Or I can say two things that I would be very, uh, I would be worried about are traveling alone and communicating with foreigners. Okay, so here we're talking about a relative clauses with like noun phrases, or in this case, I'm also like telling you that we can use adjectives sometimes. Do you have any questions? Whether the primera oración y la segunda, en este caso este bloque, can you tell the difference? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this case, estamos hablando de adjectives. Y en este, estamos hablando de nouns, no de adjectives. Digo, one thing that I would really miss is my cat. My cat no es un adjetivo, es un nombre. Es un sustantivo, my cat. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, very good. Now, lo importante aquí es entender que le podemos dar vuelta. See, he said, for all the structures of like nouns or con adjectives, we can flip them. Les podemos dar vuelta. So we say noun plus noun phrase plus is plus one thing or something that I would really miss. Les puedo dar vuelta a mi estructura y es exactamente lo mismo. Solo que la diferencia es esto. No es mí. Deje de escribirme uno. Voy a poner el nuevo y regreso a este. Tenemos esto acá. Está un poquito así como se movido, pero antes se ve. Decimos, dentro del noun phrase containing relative clauses, y eso está exactamente en la plataforma, podemos usar los noun phrases como subject o podemos usar los noun phrases como objects. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? La diferencia es como sujeto, it goes at the beginning of my sentence, and then it's always before the verb be. ¿Ok? As an object is after my verb be. Ahora, el significado cambia para nada. So you can say something that I would love is tasting different types of food or tasting different types of food is something that I love. Ya estoy diciendo exactamente lo mismo. Yeah? Guys, do you guys understand? Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> All right. Okay. Regreso a esta para que termine. ¿Ya? Yeah. Re repeat, please. Everything, no es. Everything. <laughs> the, the, the slide before this. Is... The first one. This one. Mm, the second one. Uh, the next one. The next. It does. does. With the preposition one and the adjectives. Uh huh. Adjective plus preposition. preposition. There this is, is the adjective, uh, Rocio, and about is a preposition. Uh huh. Two things. Yeah. Jo Think join. Okay. It. Yeah, you join them because otherwise, Rocio, won't make sense. If I say one thing, I would be nervous. Is traveling alone? No, nervous about. Then I'm como que quedo corto. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. A ver, preguntas. Hasta el perrito de Noemí está así como que, ah, oh, ¿qué es Questions, questions. Una pregunta. The noun phrase is uh -huh. the whole Phrase is your, the, the whole thing, one yes. thing, something to think yeah. that I. That's a noun phrase. Uh -huh. Hasta donde llega, Rocío, hasta donde llega el verbo is. Uh -huh. El verbo is es donde llega el verbo is. Uh -huh. Lo que hace, I'm going to say this in Spanish so you understand it better. Lo que hace es da, uh, darnos a entender si mi noun phrase está actuando como sujeto o como objeto. Si mi noun phrase está oh. antes del verbo be, es como sujeto. Si mi noun phrase está después del verbo be, es como objeto. Por eso, este ejemplo del final. ¿Ya? El... Espere, 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 espere. 
lo que está en rojo es el noun uh -huh. phrase. ¿Ya? Ok. Ahora, si está antes del verbo be, ¿no es? Y todas y todos, si está antes mi noun phrase del verbo be, entonces está actuando como sujeto. Si está después del verbo be, o sea, al final de mi oración, está actuando como objeto. Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Nada más es la posición de mi noun phrase. ¿El significado cambia? No, es el mismo. ¿Cuál puedo usar? Cualquiera. ¿Cuándo? Cuando quiera. ¿Ya? Ok. Ok. Sí. Entonces ahí lo que nos guía o lo que nos, ajá, lo que nos puede guiar para darnos cuenta si mi noun phrase es como sujeto o como objeto es la posición de la misma si está antes o después del verbo be. Ya sea is o ya sea are. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Igual, ahí les mando la presentación. Luego tenemos esta aquí. I want to share the other one with you before we go. Es esta. A ver. Now, now phrases containing relative clauses. Entonces tenemos, something that I love is cooking with my family. Something that I love is my noun phrase. All right? Is, me da el, el, recuerde que me da el parámetro. Si yo le pregunto, Daniel, something that I love is cooking with my family, something that I love sería como, está actuando como subject o como object. ¿Dani? Mm, <laughs> La primera, something that I love is cooking with my family. Si yo le pregunto, en esa primera oración, mi noun phrase es como subject o como object? Como subject. Como subject. ¿Por qué? Porque está antes del verbo be. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. Something that I love. ¿Por qué es relative? ¿Por qué se llama relative clause? Porque llevo el that. ¿Se acuerda que el that o el who o el which o el whom? Todos esos son relative pronouns. So en relative clause tengo que encontrar uno de esos. Y digamos que en este caso el that puede ser optativo, a veces lo ocupo, a veces no, pero en este caso lo ponemos para que usted se dé cuenta que es un relative eh, clause en este caso, ¿ya? Veamos el otro ejemplo. Cooking with my family is something that I love. Walter, como object o como subject, my noun phrase. Walter, o Ana, o quien... Ajá, Walter. Como object. Como object. object, yes. Why? Because it's after the verb be something that I love. Yes. Ahora, si se fijan, something that I love is cooking with my family or cooking with my family something that I love, estoy exactamente diciendo lo mismo. No hay ninguna diferencia en el mensaje. ¿Ya? Okay. Yes. Lo que tiene que saber es como el orden. Usted no puede decir something that is I love cooking with my family. No, ¿verdad? Esto no está diciendo nada. Something that I love is cooking. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, no, es, es toda la estructura. Something that I love, punto. Or one thing that I love, or something that I, obviamente puedo cambiar mi noun phrase, en lugar de algo que me encanta hacer, es algo que detesto hacer. And something that I hate is, I don't know, fighting with my sister. ¿Ya? Yeah? Ok. Ok, ahí es, ahí sí, depende de lo que se quiere decir. Miren esta, someone, ahí lo cambié, ya no digo something o solo one thing, sino que digo someone. Someone who, or that I would miss, is my mother. My mother is someone who I would miss. Igual, una está actuando como subject, la otra como object. Yes? Si se fija, puedo okay. usar el who o puedo usar el that porque es persona. Si fuese algo, cosa o animal, dijera which o dijera that. ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Díganme mm -hmm. que sí. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. A ver. Entonces aquí we have, in this case, we have anxious, comfortable, confident, curious, depressed, embarrassed, enthusiastic, excited, homesick, insecure, Nervous, uncertain, uncomfortable. ¿Qué son todos esos? 
Um, um, adjectives. Adjectives. Very good. Okay. All right. So here we have this. Entonces, por eso en la, en la presentación previa les enseñaba eso, ¿verdad? Porque voy a decir, something that I would be anxious about is not knowing anybody. Ok, so, como son adjetivos, necesito un about. Yes, un necesito a preposition. Ok. Ok. A ver, can you take a picture of this, please, guys? Got it? Yes. Ok, so, what I want you to do right now is in your groups, I want you to think about what the, the sentences are saying and finish it. For example, number one, it says one thing I would, I would be fascinated by or about. Preposiciones pueden cambiar. En este caso hay unas que están usando by y otras about. Es lo mismo. One thing that I would definitely be fascinated by is trying new food, for example. Usted con su pareja en su grupo decida de, uh, algo que a usted le fascinaría. Es, ¿Qué sería algo que a usted le fascinaría? Probar nueva comida, aprender otro idioma, casarse con alguien de otro país, I don't know, something, all right? Re ready? Si se fija, unas van a ser como subject y otras como, están diciendo como que object, ¿verdad? Object. Entonces usted, por ejemplo, la número dos tiene que decir el qué, para que diga, para, para que pueda usar el noun phrase que ya lo tiene ahí hecho por usted, como object, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. Okay, did you take a picture? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay, very good. So let's go back. We have like about 10 minutes, so we have enough time to finish this exercise, okay? There you go, guys.
I love one thing I definitely be okay. fascinated by is okay. tasting, is cooking is it's, it's like this, like this, I think. So, next one. The teacher is an, is an I am here, I'm here. Platform. Hello, you have questions? Yes. Is it okay if we use tasting? That's fine, food? yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. Ah, it's okay. something I really miss. Mm. Yeah. Pupusas is something I really miss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Miren, pupusas. Miren, pupusas, no quieren. Yo voy a llorar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do pupusas uh, uh, for first time. Uh, no, no, never mind if is uh, if they are a square. <laughs> no, no kidding. I don't care. I need pupusas. Oh my goodness. Very good. You're doing great. Uh, yes, for two things. Uh, I have, I we have six for our, hi, hello teacher. Hi, hi Jenny. Hi. Hi teacher. Hi. Two things. I be some homesick for. Do you understand what homesick is? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Nostalgic. Yeah. For Two our, things that I'll be homesick. For our going to work. <laughs> Travel around the world. Ah, not eating pupusas. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, pero ahorita ya no estoy yendo los, al colegio ni a la escuela. No, por eso me pone nostálgica, porque no estoy yendo. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Mm. Uh, forest. The world to art. Hi, what number are you going on? So, uh, I teach Hi, teacher. Hi, hello, hello. Teacher, and then yeah. number two. Yeah. Uh, Edith, ¿cuál es la que había puesto usted? Y después yo le digo la que yo le había puesto. Eh, Como habíamos bueno, puesto al principio. Ajá, al principio es my, my partner or um, co-worker is something I really miss. Uh -huh. Ok, y yo había puesto I deal the finally co-worker is something I am really miss. Say it again, Noe. I'll, I deal the finally co-worker is something I really miss. Mm, but I, I'm not quite sure if I understand your sentence, Noe. Um, what do you want to say? Que definitivamente extraño mis compañeros de trabajo. Mm. Ajá. Pero creo yeah, que but I think, Ana, I, I think Ana, I think Ana has it better, yes. So you can say mm. my co-workers is something that I would really miss or mm, the friendship with my co-workers or the relationship with my co-workers is something that I would really miss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. My friendships con worker. My friendship. Well, you can say the relationship with my co-workers porque acuérdese que es something, not someone. Ah. Yeah, Ana. So, si yo digo okay. my co-workers is something that I would really miss, Porque mis ah, okay. compañeros de trabajo son personas, no puedo decir que son cosas. <laughs> ok. My relationship. Ajá. So you can say. My relationship co worker. Co workers. Co workers. Is something. Uh, something I really mean. Yeah. I, I really. Oh, ok. Thank okay. you. Ok. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. The uh, teacher, what the meaning homesick? Homesick is nostalgico. Oh, nostalgico. Ah, okay. Like Thank me you. for the pupusas. <laughs> <laughs> teacher, y no las hizo. No. Pero <laughs> yo creo que intentaré. <laughs> pues sí, haga dos chibolitas. Haga dos chibolitas. Ya me compré la harina. Así, harina. Así, ah. así empezamos. Sí, pues o sea, sí. Y, y, y las aplasta con un plato, con una bolsa o algo no, para no. que no se le pegue. <risa> la hace no, de claro, dos que, que yo creo que tengo que hacerlo porque si no moriré de eso. <risa> y no están vendiendo por ahí. Aquí no. la señora sí hace. No, aquí, aquí en mi casa sí, niña. Ay, no, aquí no. No hay Ay. nadie que haga. Ay, qué triste. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. No, ahí no se rebuscan, niña. Si sí, no, está no, todo. La señora de por aquí adentro de su casa las está haciendo. Really? Yes. Sí, sí, y sí, habla y, y ahí dice que va a tener pupusas. No. Si no se Ay, no, yo ah. quiero. Es que cabal solo es para ir a traer así, vea, pero sí, sí, rapidito no, y no cerca. Quiere no, y, sí. ya, y, ajá, y ya tienen lista la bolsita y usted solo paga y ya va. Dios mío, pues estos mis vecinos no se han puesto en nada entonces. Ay, no, teacher, vaya, hágalas no, aquí. Ganar, de, niña. De están, más seca. Están por los 300 pesos, mamá. Oh, bueno. Y mire, Danielito bien portado no dice nada. Vale, perdón, Daniel, ya, ya me voy. <risa> no, no hay problema. <risa> All right, keep on working. You're doing fine. My, my dear teacher. Hello. Nosotros creemos que ya lo hicimos. A ver. Enseñe, quiero ver. José, yeah. no me ha dicho, son las 10 y 3. <laughs> no, ya. Ya es hora, teacher. Ya sé, ya sé. Ya es hora. Ya es hora. Ya es hora. Mm, vaya. Vamos a cerrar los grupos y mañana nos vemos. Vamos a revisar eso mañana. Ok. Hello. You hear me? All right. So because we need to go right now, guys. Tomorrow, when we come into the class, eh, trate de ter si no lo terminó, trate de terminarlo ahora para que mañana entremos a la clase y revisando los ejercicios. Ese mismo ejercicio que hicimos ahora, vamos a terminar igual otros ejercicios siempre relacionados con este tema mañana y continuamos con el otro eh, tema de la plataforma de la sección 5 tomorrow. ¿Ok? So, okay. guys, thank you so okay. much for being in class. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, y póngase see a trabajar. tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.